In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can back up and restore your WordPress website using a very simple plugin. Backup is obviously a key part of running a website because, you know, things happen, accidents happen, hackers happen. And, you know, if something goes wrong with your website, you want to be able to restore it and get it up online as quickly as possible. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So as I said, we're gonna be backing up our WordPress website today. Uh, we're gonna be using a very simple free plugin that we're gonna install and then we can choose to back up our WordPress uh, website to either Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, wherever you like really. So um, without any more chit chat from me, let's get on the computer. Okay, so I'm over at Zombie Merc, uh, which is a website that I created in a previous tutorial. You may have already seen it. If you haven't, I'll put a link to the video uh, in the description somewhere on this video. I'm already logged in, so let's go um, into the dashboard. And the first thing we wanna do is install our plugin. So I'm gonna go down to plugins and add new. And we're gonna do a search. The plugin is called Updraft. Just type that in, press enter. And we want this one here, the Updraft Plus, which has got uh, 900,000 uh, installs. So let's click install now. That's just gonna install. Then let's click activate. So if we scroll down, you'll find that there is a new option here called settings and updraft plus backups. So if we go into there, we've got all our settings. So you could do a backup right now Um, but first we're going to go into settings so let's have a look in here so we can do a manual backup which basically means that uh, you know you do it whenever you like you press the button and it does it you can do a backup every four hours daily weekly fortnightly whatever you like so, uh, here is the uh, database backup so wordpress is made up of two uh, sections you've got the database which is where all your content and that is stored and then you've got the files which is the wordpress um, files themselves as well as themes and plugins and all that stuff I did obviously want to back up both. So here is where we can choose the remote storage. So that's where it's going to back up um, your site to. Services like Dropbox and Google Drive and stuff like that, they're free. So I'd recommend that you go sign up for them uh, if you haven't done so already. You get a, a bit of storage for free on both of those. So I'm going to choose uh, Dropbox. And then what we need to do is just scroll down and click Save. Then I need to click on this link here to authenticate with Dropbox. And it's gonna create a folder called Updraft Plus, that's fine. Let's click uh, Allow. Uh, and now we're ready to back up. Let's just double check these settings, anything else we need to worry about. So you can include or not include your plugins, your themes, your uploads, uh, or anything else that you want to um, exclude. You can have an email to let you know when it's all done, which is probably good. And then in here, there's some expert settings, which uh, we're not gonna go in there because we don't need to. So let's click Save Changes. And now I think we're ready to do a backup. So let's go to Current Status and click Backup Now. And it's gonna do its thing. Let's leave those ticked, click Backup Now. Not sure how long this is gonna take. Um, it's probably gonna take a few minutes. So let's just wait and let it do its thing. Okay, that took a few minutes, but it's all done now. I did a quick edit, obviously just to speed up time for you guys. So we've got a backup. If I go into my Dropbox, uh, which is on my computer here, uh, Dropbox, I see I've got a folder here called Apps, which is what it created. And then in here, we've got some stuff. Um, I've obviously used it before, but the one here is uh, Updraft Plus. And here's all the files that it's just created. Uh, well, in fact, there's some old ones, which was from an old site. Yeah, don't need these. damn, let's delete them. But here's my zombie merc files. You've got the plugins, the themes, the uploads, the others, and the database. So that's all backed up, good to go. Now, if I did have a problem and I wanted to restore this stuff, uh, it's very simple, we just go back into the plugin, click on the restore. So it's found the backup here, and then if we want to restore, we just click restore. 
and then you can decide what you want to restore and just click uh, restore. Simple as that. I'm not going to do this right now because I don't need to. The site is fine. And, uh, but if I ever did, I could just come here, click restore, and it would put my site back to this point in time where we did the backup. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button. That really helps me out. And do subscribe to my channel for more WordPress-related videos. Until next time, bye for now.